Day number three. Ready. <laughs> Good morning. What an exciting adventure today. No, Just have to do a small red. thing called the no, school run first. No, and welcome back to my channel it's Lindsay from Lottie and Albert I'm going to share with you today a little vlog I am off to London I'm taking George with me he's my babe he's three months old and we're going to an event hosted by uh, One Roof Social for Save the Children here's Georgie <laughs> being a good dream buddy and we're going to be doing a bit of Christmas crafting and making some jumpers so I thought I'd bring you along with me and share what we get up to so I arrived in London and I thought I'd play tourist because there's a little while before I need to meet my friend and before the event that I came here to go to. So I'm going to head to Liberty, London and inside they have the most incredible take on a Christmas tree. Look at this. It's a velvet floating bonsai tree and on the branches which are apparently real reindeer moss um they've got different sort of items from around the store it is sensational um this is sort of one of the three atriums in liberty it's not actually a tudor building although it looks like it fyi just looked this up um it's built in the 1920s but it is made from the hulks apparently of three ancient or three old uh, ships. How amazing is that? And this is the tree from above. I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's amazing. Um, so that was up on the fourth floor. And also on this floor is their Christmas shop. Very excited about Christmas. And these are, did you see those? They're like little <laughs> pants. These are the, um, I think it's sort of a Rocket St. George. I'm not sure if it's a pop-up or if it's always there. But um, these were their sort of like alternative Christmas decks. I was very taken by this little leopard that wouldn't focus. Um, and then, yeah, the whole sort of top floor is decked out for Christmas. They've got twinkly trees, traditional stockings in some gorgeous Liberty fabrics and just so many different decks. I think this was some wallpaper I was, again, taken with. It was very hard to restrain myself from spending because as you'll see in a minute they have the best collection of baubles they are obviously on the pricier end so you'd maybe go in and just get one or two but they're all organized by color um these are all sort of like peacock pinks wreaths i mean it looks like i'm going really fast because i've sped this video up slightly i'm sorry if it's making anyone feel dizzy um but yeah if you are in London or you ever go for a visit, I definitely recommend popping into Liberty, especially if it's Christmas time. Um, not sponsored by Liberty, just cute little doggies. Um, <laughs> oh, this was a sprout wreath. Everybody needs a sprout wreath. I've seen some really nice Christmas ones, actually. Just Pootling has a good pattern for those, too. So, yeah, a little bit of a, uh, a whiz round. These were some little hummingbird ones. Um, even just looking at the colours, I always feel is a really good way to get a bit of inspiration, whether it's for Christmas decorations or just for yarn projects. Um, it's nice. These were all, all sort of oriental, gorgeous flowers. Leopard print. Can't miss the leopard print. And then I think these are the kind of speciality liberty um, baubles that you can pick up too. Next up is haberdashery. Look at 
this is such a good idea. <gasps> pom pom tie backs. Definitely need to make some of those. <laughs> Can you tell I was feeling the awkward filming? I think I checked over my shoulder at one point to see if anybody's there. Um, this is a Lego model of the store, which I just thought was adorable. So, yeah, you can see how it looks Tudor, but it's not. And then here's a very quick whiz round all of the fabrics. Um, so, yeah, I was so glad I popped in, just popped into Liberty, you know, as you do. I've never actually been in before, although I adore, you know, all the traditional um, Liberty prints from their fabrics very familiar with those. I'd never um, played tourist and gone into the store so I didn't buy anything but that wasn't what I was really here for. Here was the wool section. There wasn't a huge amount, they had stitch and story kits and they had wool in the gang. Um, they had some sewing stuff as well, they had sort of tealy in the buttons so all quite like modern um, brands I thought. And here's one last look at that amazing tree with the little prezies on it. Beautiful. Just had a little look around Liberties and next up I'm going to go meet a friend of mine, Tian's and Nitsabari for a coffee. I think possibly um, I might be the world's worst vlogger because it's really embarrassing vlogging in public. Can you even hear me? Anyway, um, and then after that I'm going to head to the event that I actually came to London for. So, you will probably wake up in time for that and start screaming. We shall see. Here we are, we have arrived. This is uh, the Christmas Jumper Day event, which is all in aid of a charity called Save the Children. And the idea is on the 13th of December, um, everybody gets together, wears their Christmas jumpers and also donates. So this is the setup for the event. Yum, some food. I actually didn't eat many things of that. Many things, any things. These are the drinks. Also, I blanked the wine, but I did have one of these nice Fentimans. <laughs> um, and they've got um, some information and a sort of setup here, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a little bit. This is the safe cave. And, oh, I'll read it out to you. This space is designed to replicate one of our child-friendly spaces. Most often we create child-friendly spaces to support children in emergencies. So... I do show you that in a little bit. I'll go back in there. And then this is the crafting section. So they are also trying to sort of promote the fact that you don't have to go out and buy a brand new Christmas jumper every year. You can make one or upcycle an old one as well. So here's the little station. Oh, I think I wanted to show you this, but my camera wouldn't focus. <laughs> it's bio glitter. Um, so that's nice, a bit of more environmental. Um, and there's loads of different things here that you could have used or added to your jumper. And I will show you shortly what I decided to do. They've got felt, pom-pom makers, yarn, hot glue guns. Oh, and they also had a cricket or a cry cut machine. So they had all these sort of pre-cut stars. Um, but actually I think you could design any shapes and then they cut them out of these gorgeous glitters. Hello! So I made it to the save for the children's event. <laughs> and luckily George has just gone down for a little nap. Look what's happened. Got a little beanbag situation going on. So I'm gonna try and do some crafting while he's asleep. I've got myself one of their vintage jumpers. Um, they've got sections of vintage jumpers that you can upcycle or um, existing ones. They've also got a cricket machine, like this one here has got cricket stars on it. Um, but I'm gonna 
try and do a little pom pom creation so that I can twin with George and then maybe if we time it right he'll nap till we finish grafting and then we can get a little pick and finish jumpers. Watch this video. jumper I've ever made. <laughs> We've just stuck pom poms on. Um, I've used a glue gun for these but obviously if you wanted it to be washable um, when I get home or whatever I would probably put a stitch through the back because I think these would wash okay if you wash them on delicate but I think maybe the glue because they're just glue guns that's gonna come off. Yeah. So I saw my theme here people and I just ran with it. <laughs> Um, I decided then to use some of the other jumpers to create um, ones for my other two kids as well. So these are my daughter's favourite colours, yellow and pink. And I even did a third jumper which was in um, blue and green for my other son. George is snoozing like a babe. He's timed that nap very well indeed. Here's some of the other sort of crafters and people who'd come to check out the event and see what it was all about. And um, yeah, he had some great quotes all over the place. This one says, I thought I should teach women, they should also be educated. So I started to teach them. And at this point, George woke up from his nap, as you can see. And I was realizing our twinning dreams his little bobble jumper and my little bobble jumper. And then he did attract quite a bit of attention, and people came over to chat to us. <laughs> She's looking the wrong way. She's not interested in me. <laughs> yeah, could you do a little? Pardon? So we made it home in one piece. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching a little bit of, oh my gosh, my hair's frizzy. My hair getting frizzier. Um, and making Christmas jumper for Christmas jumper day. Um, December the 13th, people. You can also tax to donate um, if you'd like to, to help support Save the Children. I'll put all the details down below. And yeah, I'm gonna try and get a snap of us all in our matching jumpers. Um, the kids are currently wearing theirs and I need to probably sew on the pom-poms, I think, is the way forward to make them last longer. 
but yeah if you did like the video please feel free to give me uh, a thumbs up or even subscribe i'm hoping to do more vlogs like this in the future can you hear my kids going mad in the background um oh yeah or leave me a comment and let me know what you thought let me know if you prefer sort of voiceover or music whilst i'm doing the sort of bits and bobs in the videos and yeah i'll hopefully see you all again soon bye <laughs> do you like them yeah, yeah. <laughs> you cuties <laughs> where is he coming in Say cheese. <laughs> happy jumper day. Happy jumper day. Yeah. Happy Christmas jumper day. That's